hello everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression so if we have 3 to the power of 12 minus 3 to the power of 11 minus 3 to the power of 10 uh, so we will just simplify this algebraic expression into the lowest form uh, you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that we will show all of the working here uh, so now here in this video i can uh, solve this problem in a very smart way in which uh, uh, the calculation in which I can do the less calculation uh, or uh, we will not use the calculator uh, so I hope so you like this video but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate to uh, write this method into the comment section so the very first step we are going to do is first we need to focus in the exponents of this term and we have the exponent of this term is 12 we break it as 10 plus 2 and minus this is 3 to the power of 11 we write it as 3 to the power of 10 plus 1 minus this is 3 to the power of 10 and now here uh, we apply the exponent law you know that if you have a to the power of m plus n equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n uh, so according to this exponent law uh, we will break the exponent of these terms it will be written as 3 to the power of 10 multiplied by 3 square minus 3 to the power of 10 multiplied by 3 minus 3 to the power of 10 so further in the next step uh, here we need to take common 3 to the power of 10 so so that when you take on 3 to the power of 10 we get the remaining values all here we get 3 square minus here we get 3 minus here we get uh, only 1 uh, and now here you see that uh, we have 3 to the power of 10 into we have this is 3 square equals to 9 minus this is minus 3 minus 1 equals to minus 4 and here we get uh, 3 to the power of 10 multiplied by 9 minus 4 equals to 5 so here uh, we again uh, write this 3 to the power of 10 as we write it as 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 5 and it is multiplied by 5 uh, so here we apply uh, this exponent law if you have a to the power of m multiplied by n it is equals to a to the power of m to the power of n so uh, according to this rule uh, here you have 3 to the power of these two numbers are multiplied by each other so that now we can move 3 to the, and we can move this 5 inside the term and it will be written as 3 to the power of 5 and its whole square and it is multiplied by 5 so here you uh, you know that the meaning of 3 to the power of 5 square is that we will multiply 3 to the power of 5 with 3 to the power of 5 and at, at the last we multiply it with 5 so here our next target is first to find the value of 3 to the power of 5 so 3 to the power of 5 means that we need to multiply uh, this 3 with 5 times uh, and you have this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 9 3 is are 27 27 3 is are 81 and here uh, we need to multiply 81 with uh, 3 so you have 3 ones are 3 and 3 eights are 24 so we get uh, here 3 to the power of 5 equals to 243 so now we move backward and here we can put um, the value of 3 to the power of 5 here so this expression is written as in this form uh, so 3 to the power of 5 multiplied 3 to the power of 5 we replace 3 to the power of 5 equals 243 multiplied by 243 multiplied by 5 uh, so further in the next step uh, in here uh, we need to multiply uh, these two bigger numbers so here i can just use the smart technique in which we can do this multiplication in a very uh, easy way so we break this 243 as uh, this is 243 we write this as 200 plus 40 and plus 3 and it is multiplied by 5.
so now in the next step we need to multiply this 243 with each of these terms and it will be written as 243 multiplied by 200 and 243 multiplied by 40 and plus 243 multiplied by 3 and it is multiplied by 5. So here first we need to uh, do these multiplications at the last uh, we multiply our resulting answer with 5. Uh, so here first we multiply this value with this here you consider this is one number this is three digit number when you multiply this zero with this number so you get here zero when you multiply this zero with this number we again get zero when you multiply two with this number you get here two three za six two four za eight and two two za four and plus here we need to multiply the 243 with 40 here we consider this is one digit number and this is two digit numbers uh, and now here uh, again we multiply 0 with this number you get 0 and when you multiply 4 with this number you get here 4 3 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 4 4 is a 16 16 plus 1 is 17 we write 7 and carry 1 4 2 is a 8 8 plus 1 is 9 and plus we need to multiply 3 with this number you get here 3 3 is a 9 and 3 4 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 3 2 is a 6 6 plus 1 is 7 and at the last we multiply with 5 so here in the next step we need to sum up all of these values so first we add 0 plus 0 becomes 0 0 plus 9 equals to 9 and this 0 plus 2 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 this 6 plus 7 is 13 13 plus 7 becomes 20 uh, so uh, we write 0 and carry 2 so 8 plus 9 becomes 17 17 plus 2 becomes here 19 we write 9 and carry 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 so you get here 59049 and it is multiplied by 5 so this is the, our final step we multiply this number with this directly so 5 9 is a 45 we write 5 and carry 4 5 4 is a 20 20 plus 4 becomes 24 we write 4 and carry 2 5 0 is a 0 0 plus 2 is 2 5 9 is a 45 we write 5 and carry 4 5 5 is a 25 25 plus 4 becomes 29 so uh, this is the offer a uh, final simplified form of the given question so finally we have 3 to the power of 12 minus 3 to the power of 11 minus 3 to the power of 10 equals to 2 9 5 2 and 4 5 this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos